I have been surrounded by some wonderful ladies who have served me so well. Um, I have coaches that do things for me and think of things. I've gotten to where a lot of people don't want to ask other people for help. They want to do things themselves, and I'm way beyond that. I'm signing up everybody to help because I know that this doesn't function as well as it used to. I'm very thankful when I get on the soccer field, my mind works. Well, Sully's live with us right now from Razorback Field, where Bryant just beat Conway in girls soccer. And Sully, look who you've got with you. It's easy to see why they're smiling. They are the 6A state champs right here. This is your MVP, Alyssa Faison, a girl of many goals and few words. I'm going to ask for one to describe this experience. Determination. All right. Mary Catherine Seelig is one of the seniors. Uh, what does this mean to you guys? Um, I think that we've worked really hard these past two years, and we thought we were getting it last year, but this year, I mean, we got it in the bag, and we're so happy. So. Yeah. yeah. And they have my favorite coach. Where's Coach Idme right here? Right here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's talk about this. And, and, uh, there's so many folks around here sharing this experience with you. I know. We have been so blessed to just ha have so many people who followed us and have come and cheered us on, parents who love these girls and um, have just supported everything that we've tried to do. A year ago, after you lost this championship game, you suffered a seizure, it's a year mm -hmm. later. Uh, how much have these girls helped you in your journey? Oh my goodness, um, I tell everybody, the only thing that I can do where I am actually able to think and do well is when I coach. Um, you ask me how to make something, I'm like, what did you say, or how are things going? <laughs> and these girls just have been so encouraging to me, and uh, they fill in words for me, and do things for me, just so that um, we can all do stuff together and be successful. Well, I'm going to steal your pink glasses here. Yeah. All right, one more time. These are the state champs from Brian. Let's hear it, girls. Letting go of every single dream I lay each one down at your feet Every moment of my wandering Never changes what you see I've tried to win this war, I confess My hands are weary, I need Tomorrow brings There's not a day yet You have not seen us So in all things Be my life and bread I want what you want, Lord And nothing less When you don't move the mountains I'm needing you to move When you don't part the waters I wish I could walk Thank you. 
one, two, three, four, right? Bryant's first-year yep. soccer okay. coach, Nicole Lindemann, will be the first to tell you that her first season running a high school program has been a challenge. I've never had to coach 35 girls at one time and keep everybody touching a ball. Oh, here we go. Who's in? Let's go. Play it and get out. You guys got to play it and get out. Let's go. You don't have to watch this former college player for long to see that she is play fully down. engaged. Go, get out. Yep. I love coaching. Go, I mean, coaching me is one of the greatest rewarding experiences for me and I love the girls every team that I coach I fall in love with the players and my greatest desire is to see them develop here we go let's go one of the pluses of taking this job or actually two are Nicole's twins Ashton and Abby are freshmen on the team and to be honest that was partly why I decided to do this just because when I've since I've coached them since they've been four you wanted them I wanted them to continue to love the game so I tell them when I put my pink sunglasses on, I'm a coach. When I take them off, I'm their mom. Go! In terms of her daily routine, this has been a complete 180 for Nicole. She's gone from being a mom who coaches soccer in the summer to going all in at Bryant High. She's now a full-time teacher, and school is usually followed by a three-hour practice. I'm not going to lie, I have a coffee pot in my soccer office, and I make sure I have a cup before I come out here. I take my vitamins, my B12, and I am dead tired. I come out here, and the girls make me come alive and make my brain function and do what it needs to do so that I help these girls achieve, you know, ultimately their ultimate goal, which is to win a state title. And so far, so good for Nicole and the Bryant girls. They're 14 and five on the season, nine and four in conference play. That's great. Oh, yeah. yeah, and those little girls, I remember when they were thunder and lightning, no. now they're all grown up.
Okay, and then I need Ashlyn. Those who don't know Nicole Inman may refer to her as the coach who wears those pink sunglasses. I wear pink because I want girls to know that you can go out on the field and be hardcore and work really hard, be physical, but then I choose to come off the field and be a lady. And I'm coming in. These lady hornets have taken on the personality of their coach. They are fierce. Last season, in Coach Inman's first year, the Lady Hornets made it all the way to the state title game. For a first year, I mean, I was, you know, happy. I was very happy with the girls. A week after that game, this mother of four suffered a seizure. The diagnosis, two brain tumors. I'm coming out, I'm low. Almost a year later, Nicole is living and coaching with brain cancer. I don't think about it very much, except when I look at my hair. And of course, now it's growing out, so it's kind of nice. I have hair now, but um, that's been my reminder is that I have this thing is because of my hair. Her new normal sees her getting more tired and struggling with her memory, but those things can't compare to the countless number of kind acts she's received from her hope warriors. I did not have to cook or worry about meals the whole entire summer. That's a long time, and so that was a huge gift, and I was very thankful, and I'm still very thankful. I should have one here. I mean, you wouldn't know that anything has been affecting her. I mean, we pray for her a lot, and um, we just, like, we've, this year, a lot of other teams in our conference have also been, like, super supportive, which is really awesome to see. Last month, prior to their game with Bryant, Cabot coach Kerry Castillo and his girls presented Coach Inman and her Hornets with Hope Warrior socks. We're not going to remember every moment of every game we've ever played, but they're going to remember the socks, and they're going to they're going to say this is the time that I remember and hopefully it will um, roll forward where they'll be doing stuff for other people. Make sure you guys are getting out there but don't get too close and you're moving your feet to get back. Nicole's immediate future includes four more chemo treatments. She views those as just part of her journey. For me, I want my journey to be one that I have had the opportunity to touch and talk to as many people as I can so that um, they get to be a part of what, what's going on, and then at the end, we all get to rejoice because it's a great ending, and that, that's what I'm excited about. the sum of every high and every low remind me once again just who i am because i need to know